The Center for Brain, Biology, and Behavior, or CB3, at Nebraska helps unravel the secrets of the brain. We know very little about the brain. It's critical to everything, and yet uh, we have no information about how it really works. Located in Memorial Stadium, the facility brings together researchers and state-of-the-art equipment under one roof. I think the center is a really very exciting step forward in the study of uh, not only brain development, but also what happens when the brain malfunctions. A bridge connecting CB3 with the Nebraska Athletic Performance Lab is symbolic of the unique partnership between academics and athletics. No other university in the nation conducts research this way. We have projects that entail a number of different aspects of brain function, from neuroimaging to balance to genetics and a wide variety of other areas. Faculty from 20 disciplines work in 46 research behavioral test rooms, collaborating on projects that tackle challenges such as brain injury, addiction, and depression. In the Magnetic Resonance Imaging Suite, three technologies are put to use. Functional MRI captures high-resolution images of the brain's internal structure and information flow. Electroencephalography, or EEG, measures brain neuroelectrical activity, and a tracking device records eye movement. So when you put all three together, that's a pretty unique, exciting opportunity. The ability to collect data in a wide range of areas opens up new possibilities for collaborative research projects. Hard hits on the field can result in concussions. In coordination with the Nebraska Athletic Department, CB3 conducts behavior testing of athletes before and after concussion and tracks recovery over time. Nebraska also leads a Big Ten Ivy League initiative dedicated to the study of traumatic brain injury and sports-related concussion. I would suspect that within two to three years, we will have a biomarker for concussion that will help us to say, yes, that's definitely a concussion. More information about biomarkers, uh, more information about treatment, more information about uh, recovery. Researchers have access to other shared facilities and equipment to record electrical activity produced by the brain in response to a stimulus, to measure biomarkers that indicate a specific condition, such as cortisol, a hormone that is a marker of stress to track eye movements that help investigate issues related to visual attention, memory, and perception. We have access to the variety of different methods, shared lab space, and access to the MRI equipment. We've integrated eye tracking into the fMRI and EEG systems. Uh, we've used eye tracking with the physiological systems in the political science lab, so it's really given us the opportunity to kind of bring all of these different areas of research together. All right, and I'll point to where you think the toy is. Research at CB3 benefits a range of ages, from infants and toddlers to adults and the elderly. Researchers study how differences in children's temperaments affect sleep habits and behavior, how experiences influence the development of memory and attention, problems with balance and dizziness among the elderly or those with a brain injury. We have so many experts in different disciplines coming together and able to address a research question from all different angles. It's all these different departments kind of coming together in one space and that's allowed for some very collaborative research that is different than what's being done elsewhere. CB3 helps researchers dig deep into how we form political opinions or why adults react emotionally in different ways. It's to really understand what's going on inside people and, and why these inner workings lead people to very different political conclusions. And they wouldn't necessarily report feeling emotionally reactive, but their brain is telling us something different. What influences the choices we make? Researchers study how cognitive processes and hormones affect decision making. One of the types of decisions that I'm most interested in is impulsive decision making. Understanding, I think, the cognitive processes that underlie our, our decision making can help us make better decisions. CB3 paves the way for solutions to challenging problems, improving functionality for preterm infants and stroke victims, or breaking the cycle of addiction. Understanding how genetic differences between people influence 
their tendencies to engage in health risk behaviors. To find an application that will improve the well-being uh, for human, human care and human function. In addition to research, CB3 provides an important training ground for the next generation of professionals and scientists. They get to have hands-on experiences in the lab. The ability to participate in research projects that are multi-method and multidisciplinary. Solving the mysteries of the brain is the goal at CB3. It's unique, it's innovative, uh, it's forward thinking, and it's state of the art. Welcome to the Center for Brain, Biology, and Behavior, only at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. <laughs>